But if you look in, you can see a red glow underneath. But this, this looks so dangerous. So, last night, when, really, I got, I got a couple of really nice images last night um, that I'm really happy with. What I wasn't happy with was uh, the, the, not the crowds, but the people that were climbing over the barriers. Um, so, although my images are great and seeing the lava was fantastic, I mean, really good experience, what I didn't enjoy was the feeling of being ushered into a viewpoint and then people not abiding by the rules. It was just your stereotypical, overcrowded, busy tourist spot. Um, but still amazing. Okay, I have to emphasise it was phenomenal. Now, I've been chatting to the guide because today I'm going out with a guide. Um, and he actually told me that that's the only place you can see lava flow. Um, to go up to the rim of the volcano is highly illegal, so we can't do that. Um, and then there's, there's really nowhere else we can go. Um, so his plan was to take us to that viewpoint. But I said I didn't want to do that because I've already done it and I wasn't happy with the crowds or the behavior of the crowds rather. Um, so instead we're going to compromise, we're going to go to that area, but what we're going to do is we're going to search for surface lava flow. That's where the magma breaks through the surface and then goes down. Now, these are difficult to find. Um, there, there's not been any spotted in the past few days, so we may not see any, but you've got to be in it to win it. That's what I say. So that's what we're doing. We're going to hike and we're going to try our best to find some surface lava. So I guess we'll see what happens. smile upon my face but then it all turns black something about tonight now it is hot last. hot 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 i always complain about being cold when i'm in cold places and now i'm complaining about being too hot i'm hopefully doing a workshop in iceland uh, next year i can't wait because it's so hot uh, so me and eric are hiking over a lava field. And actually this lava uh, was born, if you will, in 2012. So we're walking across land that's only a few years old. We're in search of lava flow and another phenomenon known as skylights, which is kind of like a, I don't know, imagine like a crevasse, but it's a molten rock crevasse. I don't know, you can see the orange lava flowing in, in the ground beneath you. So. I'm really hopeful of that. Um, we're making good progress, but as with anything, nature is nature and nothing is guaranteed. Okay, so we might, and I'm gonna emphasize this, we might have a bit of luck here. Um, Eric, our guide, has spotted a new lava flow or a new, what is it? Breakout. A new breakout, um, which four days ago wasn't there. So that suggests there's a chance that there could be lava flowing down the cliff. Um, so we're going to head over to that direction and to the new breakout. And hey, if there is lava, then jobs are good and it'll be flowing down the cliff. We'll be able to see it. We should be able to photograph it. <laughs> yeah, we're still hunting for the lava, but as you can see, it's getting a lot more dangerous now. The ground beneath our feet is only a few days old. We'll be the first people to walk on this. And as a result, it's incredibly brittle, like toffee, and we're just crunching through it. Now, my fear is that we crunch through it into a lava tube much like you would see a snow bridge over a crevasse. Same kind of thing, you fall through the rock into a chasm filled with boiling lava and die. But I don't think that's a risk, really. 
Now that is a risk, but we're gonna, you know, we've got Eric who's pro and uh, I'm sure he's not gonna allow that to happen. Um, we've still not found any flowing lava, but it feels like we're getting close. It's just getting very dangerous. the skylight which is a crack in the earth where you can see in where the lava flows just unfortunately it's dried up but if you look in you can see a red glow underneath but this this looks so dangerous it's crazy look check it out yeah man i say we post up here for about 15 20 because once it gets darker that thing's gonna light up in there Okay, so we decided to stop at this skylight here. Um, it's pretty much dark now. I'm amazed that this Canon G5X is actually picking up my face. The glow on my face is from the setting sun. Now, this, I'm trying to make an image here um, because we do have this sort of cave in the ground with, with a good red glow coming from it. Um, but it's, I'm not entirely convinced that it makes for a good image. And we have a lovely orange sky as the sun's set and all of the um, gases in the air catch the last rays of the sunlight. So we've got a lovely orange sky. We've got an interesting foreground and we do have this red lava, um, or at least the glow from the lava. I'm just, <laughs> compositionally, it's not quite working, which is a shame. It is a shame. But this is still awesome and probably one of the best hikes I've done. Um, and by the way, I have to mention, uh, you cannot do this hike without a guide. It's completely illegal, you'll get a fine, and they'll take your camera gear. Um, so you need a guide. So I'm gonna recommend Eric's company, and I'm gonna put their name here. If you wanna come on a lava hike, these are the guys you wanna take with you. They are awesome. Um, and you need them as well, because it's so dangerous. I've had no luck today, but it's, it's one of those things, you know, lava only breaks the surface temporarily. We literally, there's hundreds of square miles of lava field and we're looking for something the size of a football. Um, so it's difficult. Either way, I've had an awesome afternoon. Although I'm a little bit disappointed, I'm still totally happy that I've done this. So that's it for lava hunting. Although I left the lava field feeling disappointed, it wasn't until I got home and started to really open up the raw files from the shoot that I actually realised I had in fact captured a lot more detail than I first thought. I guess this is testament to the quality of the 5D Mark IV and shows that the 10 mile hike really had taken its toll on me and my judgement. My God, the sky has just exploded. This is crazy. I, I honestly, I don't know why. I knew, I knew, I should have known. I'm upgrading to a three-stop hard edge filter because this is crazy.